guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hey friend welcome to my channel my name is Kim and I upload videos about Lolita fashion and other Japanese street fashion content as well as Japan travel planning welcome to vlogmas day number 17 17 we are past the halfway checkpoint and we just pew, we're gone anyway today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite Lolita youtubers what did I hear today two people meeting together should benefit a third person which I really vibed with that very well. So I just wanted to share some of my other favorite Lolita YouTubers who inspire me or who are very encouraging or who have really, really uplifting, positive, great content. I will preface this and say that most of the Lolitas that I'm talking about are relatively small YouTubers and they don't have a large following. These are all YouTubers that when they upload a video, I sit down and I watch it and I usually get something from it. I feel better, I'm more educated, I learn about a new designer, whatever the case may be and I just wanted to share that information along because it's the season of giving and like I said these are smaller youtubers that you've likely never heard of the first youtuber I'm going to mention is the fluffer dome um, I've talked about the fluffer dome Veronica on this channel before and I can't remember how I found her channel I'm pretty sure it was like through a black Lolita community but her videos crack me up every time I watch them her personality is so bubbly also shout out to the Lolitas that are like 30 and up because we solidarity friends solidarity um I enjoy watching her videos so much they're so versatile as far as the stuff that she talks about and she's just got a personality that's just very bubbly and infectious and i enjoy watching her content another youtuber that i've been watching for a minute that i love is cupcake kamisama she actually low-key kind of inspired me to start my youtube channel because she i don't know it's something about her i don't i'm a, I'm a sucker for accents first of all so her videos also are very well-rounded in the sense that she shows off a lot of her coordinates and versatility she gives me a lot of inspiration for ways to cord things more uniquely then instead of always pulling the same colors out of a cord or always using the same items, she also inspired me and a bunch of other Lolita YouTubers to do the Around Your Wardrobe in 30 Coordinates Challenge, which was just a blog post that I didn't really hear about. And then we got inspired from not only the blog post, but Cupcake Kamisama's videos. And that was really fun to watch. And I just really appreciate her dedication to continuously like putting out videos that are not just catered to newer Lolitas, but are also catered to seasoned Lolitas and people that just are always looking for ways to level up their wardrobe. She also talks about a lot of indie designers, which I wanna see more of that. So shout out to her. Another YouTuber that I love is Dodo the Extinct. Her YouTube channel is also another one that inspired me to kind of just get get into it. I first found her through a packing video for Paradiso. Um, she's a lot of monthly vlogs, which are really, really like calming and soothing. But she's been doing a lot of lookbooks lately and a lot of different content as far as Lolita goes that I'm just, I am here for it. And she's very encouraging and she's very genuine and she just, I don't know. I feel like when she comes on camera, she's very herself. And that is something I love to see because I don't know, a lot of times we come on camera super polished. Some of us come on with a persona. Some of us feel really uncomfortable, but like, I always feel like, yeah, when she puts out a video, it's just like, hey, we're just like hanging out. The next Lolita YouTuber I love is, I'm gonna butcher this, Rose Nocturnalia. I could never say that word. Anyway, she's like the black goth Lolita. She's also had her YouTube channel for a minute and I just appreciate her like candid and like frankness when she does her videos. They always seem really, really, really well researched as well, which I really appreciate because there's so much about this fashion, the goth community, a lot of other things I just don't know. And she educates me in a way that's entertaining and I feel like very accurate. So if you are into goth, um, or if you are a black Lolita, or if you just are looking for someone that you could binge watch Buku videos, girls got tons of videos to go through. So check out her channel. And then the last Lolita YouTuber that I love to watch is Marina K. She is a Latinx black Lolita and she's also had her YouTube channel for a minute. She's super into pink, so we have that in common. But she's just, she's a very, positive 
person. She came up with the idea for the first Black Lolita collaboration video we did, which I gained so many new viewers and subscribers from that video, which I, YouTube is not all about subscribers and viewers, but I wasn't able to have the reach that I had had it not been something that people shared and talked about, and I wouldn't be talking to some of you guys right now if that didn't happen, if people didn't share, which is another reason why I'm sharing other people's content because there's literally Lolita YouTubers out here that have been on YouTube for years that I am just now finding. So if I can take five minutes to let y'all know about some other Lolita YouTubers you might've not known about, like it could save you, I don't know, it could save you time. So. That, that's my goal with this video. Those are all of the fellow Lolita YouTubers that I enjoy watching. So hopefully you found this information useful. Maybe you found some new Lolita YouTubers to watch. Um, I'll probably do another one with non-Lolita YouTubers I like to watch because I watch a lot of YouTube videos, y'all. Like when I'm working from home, I had working on one screen and I have YouTube up on another and I'm just watching YouTube videos all day. So if there's any Lolita YouTubers that you watch that you would recommend, I would love to hear about it because again, I'm always on the hunt for finding new Lolita content creators to watch and support. And yeah, sometimes people don't tag their videos or put right descriptions. That's another reason though. If y'all aren't putting tags in your videos and using good descriptions and titles, people aren't gonna find your videos. If you're like a new Lolita YouTuber or if you are a Lolita YouTuber and you can't figure out why people aren't watching your videos, you need to mention Lolita fashion or something Lolita related in your title, in your description, and or in your tags because people will not find you through the search. YouTube is a search, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be right back here tomorrow with another video. Bye.